Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading, and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate, as those may be meant for someone else. All right, so we're going to look at what you may possibly be struggling with. What is Capricorn struggling with? Balance. What does Capricorn need to look at? The Fool card and energy is coming in. I feel like things start to happen for you. Things start happening. Things start to fall in your favor. You release those things that you've been carrying around. All right, so let's get our Lenormand and let's look at for the six of, oh, we have the letter. For the fool, ring, ooh, commitment, new commitment, and time. It's just going to take time for things to happen for you. I feel like that's kind of the message here is that it's just going to take a little bit of time for things to fall in place. All right, so let's see. Let's grab these. Let's see. Communicating. I feel like, <coughs> excuse me, I feel like it's trouble communicating within your relationship and there isn't this back and forth or communicating with, or you're waiting for some communication to come in. I was just, for some reason, I just thought a job or um, a, a, I'm trying to think of a, like a resume. Like you're waiting for that to come in and it hasn't come in yet, or you haven't heard back from someone about something, or you're having trouble communicating within a relationship. What else do we have with this? Um, Balance. Something doesn't feel balanced, but I feel like it definitely has to do with communication. Okay, within a relationship, that's what I was saying, is that maybe you're feeling that there's not this balance of communication between you and someone else, that it seems more one-sided within this relationship. And I feel like there's something that's weighing heavy on your heart, something that has bothered you, something that has disappointed you. Um... I feel like you had these dreams and goals or you had these thoughts about this person or this situation and that it wasn't it's not panning out the way that you wanted it to and I feel like you're almost at a loss for this nine of cups and you're really wondering you know do I want to keep doing this or pursuing this or going after this nine of cups I kind of feel like this nine of cups is behind you right because if you're standing here and you're looking at this that you're focusing on this three spill cups, but behind you is a nine of cups. You have the two of cups and you have the nine of cups. But I feel like that's almost saying that better things are coming in behind you, right? And that's what I was saying over here is that things are going to start happening for you, but it's just going to take some time. And I feel that it goes back to this is behind you, right? Not that it's past and it's over, but that it's behind you and it's about ready to come in, right? That it hasn't reached you yet. It hasn't, or you haven't turned around to focus on it because what you need to look at here is we have the fool card and then we have the ring. And to me, I feel that represents a further commitment to something. It could be an engagement, but I feel that it ha the ring has to do with a commitment to new beginnings and new starts, right? To taking chances and to starting new and starting fresh with a new perspective could be that this job opportunity comes in let's see what else does it have to say we have the five of pentacles and we have the seven of pentacles and what else do we have for this ace of cups look at that so it was kind of Again, I feel like this is time. Time seems to be a big one f here for you. It's time and it's progression. We went from the five to the seven, right? Where you're feeling on the outside, where you're feeling 
like you're questioning things, you're looking at things. But then we have this Ace of Cups. Aces are new beginnings. And again, we have the Fool, zero, which is new beginnings. And then we have the Ring, which is commitment. Committing to new beginnings. I'm kind of wondering, what is this five of... Let's see, let's do this. Let's get Lenormand. You know me, I just kind of wing it. I don't, I don't like being restrained to having to do things a certain way. So this five and seven of pentacles. What is, what is this? Five. All right, we have the clouds. You are not clear on something. That you're not clear on something. Not clear. Not clear about a relationship, not clear about a choice. You haven't received an answer from maybe resumes that you've put out there, that you're getting frustrated, that you're starting to focus on the negative, but yet this Nine of Cups is waiting to come in for you. I feel like, what does Capricorn need to focus on here? <laughs> Flowers, right? The tulips. I feel like even though you're waiting for something to come in or you're, you're, you're waiting for something to change or you're, or you're, I feel like this has to do with you though. I don't feel like it has to do with a relationship. I feel like it's something that you're frustrated with that it hasn't, it hasn't happened or something isn't working out. And I feel like you're getting frustrated with that, right? That's why you have the clouds and you're stopping and you're looking at things and you're feeling on the outside and you're feeling cold. And um, But I feel like it's focusing what's going on with you now. Like what are those positive things, which I know it's hard to focus on positive things. And you're like, no, I just want to be miserable. I just want to be sad. I just want to focus on these three spilled cups. I know it. I get it. I mean, I've definitely been there. And I just feel like it's trying to, looking at those two columns, right? So you have the column of the negative, which is the three cups, and you have the column of the positive, which is this flowers, is trying to focus more on the positive and say, okay, what do I have going for me? What do I have that's positive? What do I have that's going for me? What is it, have I been, you know, progressing in a certain area and, it's, I'm starting to see results in that, and do I need to focus on that? You know, what are those positive things that I have, the relationships that I have, right? Um, if it is a relationship that you're dealing with and you're not having the communication, okay, how do I change that? Let me put on my brakes here. Let me see. Do I need to be more committed to this relationship? Do I need to be more committed to myself that I need to make sure that I start focusing on the sunny side of things rather than the negative side of things? right? Do I, do I need to turn that around? Do I have to be committed more to that? What are the positive things in the relationship that I can focus on? Even though this person may have just done something that bothered me or hurt me, what are the positive th side of things, right? Would that person really do something to hurt me or bother me? Or is that, you know, is that a, a regular pattern? Just trying to see the lighter side of things, But I feel like it's something that's important to you because you don't want to be caught up in this Three of Cups energy, right? You don't want to be stuck in that, right? So the Queen of Swords and then we have the Eight of Cups. You want to walk away from that. I feel like it's kind of going sideways, right? The Queen of Swords and then you walk away and then you, you're into this King of Swords. And then look at this. We have the Lovers, the connection coming back together. Um... This is something that's going to take time. That's what I was saying. And I feel like there are, there are things that have been bothering you that you need to release and you need to let go of. Um, because I feel definitely between this Ten of Swords and this Eight of Cups. Emotions, feelings, thoughts, right? This is all in your head. All of this stuff that's in your head. That you have to let that go. Um, but you have to see that okay, is this affecting the other person or is this affecting me or is this the energy that I want to stay in? 
If, is this something that I want to move away from? But you have to make the effort. And this is something that takes time. Sometimes you just need that time, right? If somebody does or says something that bothers you, or you're frustrated that something didn't work out or that it's taking time to happen, then you start to spiral downwards. And then it's like, okay, how do I pull myself out of this and try to focus on the positive and what are those good things that I can do or how do I get myself out of this energy or how can I preoccupy myself with thinking about something else? And then knowing that it's going to take some time and then you can finally be like, okay, I'm going to let this go right? That I'm not going to let this bother me. I'm not going to let this affect me anymore. And then I'm going to let this go and I'm going to start thinking a different way and focus on the, on the positive or focus my mind on something else that makes me feel positive or makes me feel like I'm accomplishing or doing things, right? I feel like this nine of cups is important. I feel like it's kind of swirling around you, that it, it it's around you, it's behind you, but it's wants to come in for you but it but it hasn't but I feel like you're blocking it and it's because of this ten of swords and this um, eight of cups we're just noticing the moon there let's pull something for the lovers here because we have the king and queen of swords and then we have the lovers which is interesting because the lovers is gemini and gemini is swords i feel like that that re represents your thought pattern right analyzing looking at things anchoring stability right feeling more stable All right, let's get commitment. Commitment represents stability. Come to the edge. So I feel like that represents the fool. Come to the edge. Come to the edge, take a chance. Come to the edge. Come to the edge. Saw that one. Kind of saw that one. Woman holding a coin. Knowledge. I feel like that represents knowledge. Woman, I love the colors. The purple is really standing out, out for me. And then we have the purple here in this card. Um, woman holding a coin. It could be that, like I said over here, that if you're waiting for this, you know, the resume or you've put it out or communication with that is that maybe over time, in some time, that something happens for you, that there's somebody that has a connection for you. Like she has some information for you about business or work or job opportunity let's see let's take these two yin and yang this one always wants to come out for me <laughs> i don't know why you know it's that back and forth it's the looking and watching and then it's the doing it's you know that balance between the two and then we have appreciation which again is that focusing on those things that you have going for you focus on the things that are in your plus column right because over here you're looking at over here, you're looking at what's in your minus column. And over here, this is your plus column. Even though this plus column over here is not as big as this, right? But you're focusing on this side, the minus column. But it's time to focus on the plus column, right? And be appreciative for what's in your plus column. Turning your back on the, on the plus column. I feel like that's what you're doing. We have Wolf Spirit turn knowledge into wisdom learning from this situation, learning from, maybe this is a lesson in, in patience, right? Which we all, nobody likes that. Everybody likes to have things happen right away. I know I do. And it could be learning from past experiences, learning, hey, when I always focus on my minus column, then I don't get things done. I, I'm not productive. I start to build, pile things up, right? All these cups start to pile up. All these swords start to pile up. So I have to 
realize that, okay, I have to focus on my plus column, even though that may be smaller. But if I'm focusing on the plus, plus column, it starts to push me towards things. Like if something doesn't work out, then that door closes, then another door is opening for you, right? New opportunities. The pluses. Um, the Ace of Cups, right? That's a plus. All right, so let's pull a, this one kind of wanted to come out. We have Tranquility, Harmonious Interaction. Again, we have the purple. For some reason, purple's standing out. I don't know if that means anything to anyone. Um, purple is standing out for me. Um, tranquility. Sometimes you just need that time to yourself. Sometimes, you know, maybe it's just sitting outside and thinking about things. And acknowledging how you're feeling, but then also realizing, okay, what are those things that I can focus on that are positive? Um, that maybe right now is not the time for the communication to come in, right? The information to come in, but it will be in the future, right? That now it's, it's not the right time. Sometimes when you try and force things, then our results are not as good as we want them to be because they were forced, right? That they were... They, it was, they came out before they were ready, before they were ready to be done, to be the most advantageous. I definitely feel that things are going to work out. I definitely feel that things are going to turn around. But it's just something that's going to have to take some time for you to see. But in the meantime, while you're waiting, right, have that tranquility. Have that... Um, Focus on the positive things, right? What are those things that you can distract your mind with or, or to not worry or stress about these things so things start to pile up, right? What are those other things that you can do so that you're not in this energy? Because you don't want that to drag you down. Like keep pushing yourself forward even though it seems like it's hard. But you will get through this, right? Time changes everything. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.